Hi, it's Trevor, and this is Discovering Gay History. All right, today we're talking about the legend Miss Major Griffin Gracie. Here we go. Miss Major was born in 1940 in Chicago and quickly joined the drag ball scene. She came out um, as a teenager in the late 1950s. Miss Major relied on the black market for her hormones and she also suffered homelessness and relied on sex work to survive. After being kicked out of two colleges for gender expression in Chicago, she moved to New York City. Many gay bars at that time denied entry to trans women. Stonewall was one of the exceptions. She said this about Stonewall. We could go to Stonewall and everything would be fine. We didn't have to explain ourselves. Miss Major was hanging out with friends at the Stonewall Inn the night of the historic riots. While the police were arresting everyone and the crowds were rioting, she too was arrested and hit on the head with a baton by a police officer. Later, while she was in jail, her jaw was broken by a police officer. That really is what spurred her into activism. In the 70s, Puppy, a trans Puerto Rican friend of Miss Majors, was murdered and found alone in her apartment. The cops ruled it as a suicide, but Miss Major was sure that this was a murder case, a homicide case. She says this about it. Puppy's murder made me aware that we were not safe or untouchable, and that if someone does touch us, no one gives a shit. We have each other, so I started looking out for myself. Since there was no one to do it for us, we had to do it for ourselves. Miss Major found herself in the Attica Correctional Facility after a burglary charge. There she met a man named Frank Smith. They sparked up a friendship, and Mr. Smith inspired Miss Major to start planning and, and really help her community on the outside. Miss Major moved to San Diego in 1978 and she started working for food banks and clothing drives. She really focused her work on trans women who were incarcerated. Then the AIDS crisis hit and she shifted her work to caring for those who were dying of the virus. She would spend her days at food banks and she would spend her weekends and nights planning funerals, and even would perform the funeral services. In 2003, Miss Major began working at the Transgender Gender Variant Intersex Justice Project, and she served as the executive director there. And to this day, she still works on prison reform, transgender protections, and transgender activism. She is a burst of life, and I encourage you to look up some videos of her. She is quite the force. All right, see you tomorrow.